guys. Also, all right, we're back. Oh. <laughs> we there for a second. Yeah, welcome back to the Code A Finals. And guys, it's PvP. Let's be honest. I know there are a lot of people on the internet right now talking about how this isn't exciting. How could you be talking about how this isn't exciting? <laughs> Did you guys see that control? Have you ever played PvP before? Have you seen? Have you been in the middle of the map with one probe? One zealot and one stalker, and your opponent has one probe, one zealot and one stalker. <laughs> have you been in that situation before? You're like, do I make the pylon now? I gotta keep my probe alive, but I don't want my stalker to get hit by his zealot, but I wanna hit his stalker with my stalker. <laughs> have you ever done that before? You should just open up the unit test or get your friend in there and just micro against him and see how it is. <laughs> I think Wolf's having a bit of a heart attack here. <laughs> He's just so much It's stuff hard, going it's on. exciting. Yeah, the map is Terminus Re. Terminus Re, game five between Tacita and Puzzle. Puzzle want to come back. He is, man. He's getting through those courses pretty quick now. Yeah, he's, uh, he's like, I've dealt with this twice now. Yeah. And then he beat it twice, and now what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Maybe Tassar's going to change it up? Maybe. Let's jump into the game right now. All right, over here at the bottom right, member of the team, NS Hosa, named after a Protoss warrior. He is known as Shown some great timings, some good control. His opponent, though, does he have his number? He is. Genes Puzzle. Genes Puzzle. The problem with Tassadar's style here now is Puzzle's played him four games in a row and he's starting to figure him out. And that's where it gets dangerous here for Tassadar. He has to change it up if he wants to have any chance of taking down some more games. Very true. Puzzle going for a 13 gate. So his gateway a little bit behind right off the bat gets that extra probe out. I think that's been the case for all the games so far. Well, some of them, the first game it was, and I think it was also in the third game, but sometimes of uh, what has happened with Puzzle as far as his warp gate research goes and his cybernetics core is that he just literally has not placed it as quickly as Tassar. In some cases, he even waited for the second pylon to finish before making it so he can make it further away from the ramp, which does just put you behind. And, you know, right off the bat here, Unstable's pointing at something. That's right, I'm just freaking out. <laughs> I was like, you, you, I you think you put no, four in there? Yeah. I was like, what? What's going on, Unstable? You're like pointing at the gas. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. There's only three in there. <laughs> <laughs> see, as you can see here, Puzzle waited for that second pylon to finish so he can make it back there. And mm -hmm. when you do that, it's just significantly delayed. In fact, it's 12, 12 seconds behind right now. And that's but we've seen from these last games, that is all it takes. Yeah. So, it's interesting that he's continued to go with that. Like, of course, you can't actually watch replays here in between sets. Nope. Uh, it's actually against the rules. Indeed it is. And but here comes the scouting probe for Puzzle. Mm -hmm. He's going to see how much chrono boost there is there. Of course, he's also going to see no second gas. And the same is true of Tastar's probe. And right now, they're going to see that both players are doing the same thing. Tastar is going to smile inside, going, well, I'm doing it a little bit faster than you. And in fact, most Pros players will, or maybe it's just me, but I'm pretty sure most processors do go in there and hotkey their cybernetics core and then click on their opponent's cybernetics core to see the timing of who built theirs first when it's still building. And I go, oh, mine's ahead, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I actually do that, man. I'm like, okay, my, my core is ahead. What we've seen from these games is a big difference. So we see extra gateways going down now for Puzzle. Yep, there's his three, and Tassadar. Oh, he's actually a little bit quicker than Tassadar's. Tassadar actually made an Whoa. extra pylon and took a second gas while we were talking Whoa, about Oh, he's that. changing it up. He is changing it up. Has Puzzle seen that second gas? He has not. And he's going to lose his first probe out here in the middle of the map. That's pretty huge. Will he keep it alive? Just barely. And again, he wants to target down his opponent's Stalker. This is what I was talking about a second ago. This is intense, man. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks to micro those units. So listen, we do have a robotic ability down. Our first robo of the yeah. day. He also got a sentry out earlier as well, so we will be able to full seal that ramp if he needs to, but this is what we were talking about. Tassadar's changed it up, which is good, but if Puzzle realizes this and goes and actually attacks him, Tassadar's gonna be, gonna be in a spot that he's not used to. Well, yeah, exactly. Now, what's bad for Puzzle here, though, is I think he's just 
backed up saying, all right, well, I'm going to hold your four gate and then life's going to go on. Mm -hmm. But Tastar isn't four gating. And so by just a streak of luck, Tastar is going to get so far ahead here. He's actually coming out to deny this probe as well. I like this. Yeah, there's no knowledge whatsoever for Tastar. I mean, that itself is a pretty big tell. Mm -hmm. He started his own robo, but it's way, way, way behind. Yep. That means his Bay is going to be up later. And if we do go into some sort of Colossus-type play, mm -hmm. that means his opponent's always going to have that one Colossus up on him as the game progresses. Yeah, and he's also made that extra gateway. He's down on probes as well because he would have cut them just, yeah. to, just to be safe. So this is what we're saying. If we mix it up, Tassadar's done a good job of that, and he's actually pulling in a solid lead now. Well, Tassadar did decide to make an immortal uh -huh. rather than getting a very quick bay. It's pretty safe right now to do that because the Blink Stalker play is rampant. You see it all the time. Whereas his opponent is actually going to go... Oh, I take it back. That was actually the bay. Production tab was <laughs> colors a little bit wrong. Anyway... Bay going down for Tassadar right away after that Immortal, just cutting gateway units, getting that very fast Bay, and interestingly enough, Puzzle going for the Twilight Council now. I really like this move mm -hmm. because he's going to have that Observer out. He's going to be able to use that to assist his Blink Stalkers. It's going to allow him to be very mobile on the map. It's a large map there at cross positions. Going for Blink is a smart choice. So what it's going to come down to here is how resilient can Tassadar be against these Blink Stalkers as he gets that Colossus tech up? Well, it just comes down to that ledge on the left-hand side of Tassadar's base there. It's going to be very frustrating for him. And he's, with this Observer, like you were saying, Puzzle's just going to be able to blink up, down, wherever he wants to. And of course, we do have an, his own Immortal coming out. As well, as well as the blink, extra gateway going down here for Tassadar as well. But Puzzle needs to be able to catch Tassadar in the yeah. middle of the map and come into his main to keep him exactly. in that base. So he does have control of two of the watchtowers. I'd like him to get more. His observer is going to come in here. He's actually going to be able to see that the bay has been done for quite some time. He will even be able to see that first Colossus. It's going to make him a little bit nervous, but he is going to stick with his plan most likely. Oh, looks like he's going to catch the observer, though. Oh, man, this is huge. Gets the observer. First Colossus is out. Even with... Blink Stalkers on a map this big, it's very difficult to win against this position. And he, he's going to have to make a Nexus somewhere on the map most likely as well to really get that advantage. So he's going to have to keep his opponent occupied. If his opponent scouts the Nexus, then he's just going to abuse the fact that the Stalkers are mobile. He is down on supply as well. Like, he just hasn't caught up in that regard. He, Losing that Observer doesn't help it either because he has no yeah. idea what's coming now. He is actually making a forward pile and he may just try to end the game with this Blink Stalker push. I don't really think that's going to work though. In fact, right now he has a total of six Stalkers out. He's about to have eight. That's a decent number, but his opponent has a Colossus and an Immortal. He's got full energy on two sentries. Yeah. A ton of Zealots. If he tries to blink up the ramp and snipe the Colossus, the Zealots will just clean up the Stalkers so quickly it won't even be and funny. And he's been seen by Tassadar here at the bottom of the ramp as well. So a second Colossus has just come yeah. out here. Go home, puzzle. Go home, puzzle. <laughs> um, in all seriousness, this. This probably will not work. I don't think he's even going to try it once he realizes what's going on. He's probably going to blink one Stalker up, see the composition, or even just run it close to the ramp, yeah. and then completely back away. But even so, he's, it's going to be difficult for him to get up the ramp because Tassar is just so ready with two 200 energy sentries. Yep. He also has a forward pylon out in the middle of the map, so he can get ready to counterattack, cut units off if he wants to, and catches oh. the observer, almost gets it, but doesn't quite. This is going to be dangerous here. Puzzle really wanted to get that Observer because now he can't really be safe in getting that information at the top of the ramp. Well, he just saw it and he, he with his Observer, he saw two Colossi and Immortal and a ton of Zealots and he was like, nope, not happening. <laughs> I am not going up that ramp. Tassler says, go home, Puzzle, and Puzzle says, okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely a heart sinking moment there. And I do see a probe being positioned out at the bottom of the map. He may try to hide a Nexus there. That's one way he can try to get ahead, and actually he's going to make it out as natural. Yeah, but this uh, looks like... Whoa, for a second there, it looked like Tassadar was ready to move out. The three Colossus is usually he's, yeah. at the time. But three it, that Colossus, being said, he has range. That being said, looks like Puzzle's going to come up here. Sees the army's out of position. And we may have an engagement here. Oh, we do have an engagement with Zealots on Zealots, but more importantly... The Blink Stalkers are in the main. There we go, going to work on that pylon. And he oh. unpowers the Robo, but these Stalkers can't blink yet. They're taking a lot of damage. A lot, of, Actually, only one Stalker taking actual damage. Otherwise, Whoa. just shields damage. Oh no, a total missed micro here. And the Zealots, actually, that I was talking about earlier from that pylon. 
It's three cut off the stalkers. Three Colossi tear through stalkers very quickly, and it just came down to that that very unfortunate timing of the blink, just on cooldown. So he's he's trying to come back in it with this Nexus up. The longer he can delay this game, so the further on it goes, the better off he'll yeah. be. See how Tastar's really struggling to move out. He doesn't yeah. really know if he can do it just yet because he's scared of these stalkers. Now he's going to move back. If the Stalkers blink up, he's going to wish he hadn't, and there they go. The Colossus make it target it down, but Oh, he does get it? one. That's great there for Puzzle. He needs to buy time for this, this cooldown to come down. There we go. That's another Whoa, Colossus that Colossus out. shot bugged out like crazy. It was like <laughs> dragging along the Stalkers. <laughs> and there goes down the Nexus for Tastar. Mm -hmm. He wants to get the Observer of Puzzle, so this can no longer happen, but Puzzle has started to equal up the supply quite a bit. There's just a lot of Zealots there, and they're going to play a huge part in actual engagement. They really are, because you can't blink on top of Colossi when your opponent has 7, 8, even 12 Zealots there <laughs> waiting for you. Yeah. That pylon does go down, which means no more reinforcements at the front for Puzzle. This attack is going to be so hard to stop. He does have three Immortals, actually four Immortals back at home, which do quite well against Colossi if they can hit them. Yeah, the frustrating part for Puzzle right now is he doesn't have the Colossi, so he can't really just make a lot more Zealots as a buffer zone because they will just get torn apart by the Colossi very, very quickly. And Tassadar is just going straight into these Colossi. He yeah, he's... As many as he can have. He is. He's adding his own uh, Twilight Council as well. Mm -hmm. He's going to get his own Blink Stalkers to keep up the mobility with his opponent. Also, when his opponent's Blink Stalkers retreats, he wants to be able to attack himself. Now, this little push out by Puzzle can... Could, you know, do some real damage. Ooh. It all depends on how he does it. We do have a Warp Prism, though, and a DT Shrine. Dark Shrine, a very important factor in this game because if his opponent doesn't have an Observer nearby, things can get really weird. Mm -hmm. so we are going to see some Dark Templar warped into the back of the base slowly. Oh, getting a little bit too close there. He's got this Blink Stalker Force. He may try to attack at the front, then blink up into the main, but even so, it's going to be very difficult to make this work. Yeah, but even though he had that, that expansion up quicker, he's still down on probes. Very true. He's down to actually 10 probes, which is huge. It is, and he only has that one Observer. If that dies, it's going to get oh, really the Observer weird. Getting... Oh, oh he's going to draw these forces back as he attacks at the front. And he might actually cut off the forces of Tastar here. here Immortals go. hitting Colossi. Stalkers blink up. Beautiful moves by Puzzle. This may be what he needs. Just getting all those Colossi down. He's now going to be able to micro these units at the front to get away from those Zealots. Coming down, Blink, another nice Blink there. A by Puzzle coming in, tearing apart all these Colossi. And now the Immortals going to work on the Stalkers. Whoa! This actually worked! It was a great move by Puzzle, and I gotta say, Tastar did not expect that to work so well. I can't believe he was able to come back in that game. And, you know, he just played it so well. He drew the force back, he drew the forces back without even blinking up into the main. Mm -hmm. Then he went at the front, and then he blinked into the main. He was everywhere, and then the Colossi got caught because their AI kind of bugged them out to be up at the top of the ramp before they should have been. Yeah. And then he picked off those Colossi, and Tastar has to be very frustrated with how that game went. He was so ahead from the start of that game. Yeah, but it just comes down, like the Colossi didn't have anything to protect him in that final engagement. As soon as they went down, all, it was just over. Yeah. Is that what was making his army a lot more scary than Puzzles? And great move by Puzzle. Blink Stalker. <laughs> Blink Stalker is the future of PvP. It, it's, you know, it's already, some people are like, no, Wolf, it's already PvP. Well, <laughs> it's, it's going to be only Blink Stalker in the future. Like, people just aren't even going to worry about DTs. They're just going to make Blink Stalkers. <laughs> like, they might make a Forge one day, eventually, you know, just in case. But I think... As time goes on and people get better at Blink Micro, better at decision making, like that decision that he made right there was just so nice. It was risky. Yeah. He had to end the game then, and he just went for it, and he did it in all the right ways. Mm -hmm. Also during that battle, I don't know if you guys know, Tastar hesitated. He had yeah. this moment where he moved his units around like four or five times with four or five right-click move commands where they were taking a lot of hits, especially as Zealots weren't fighting for most of that engagement. Mm -hmm. And so once the Zealots kind of fell and the Immortals weren't shooting at Zealots anymore, they were shooting at Stalkers. It was like the last thing he, d he really expected. He expected the harassment coming in from the front, but he didn't have any idea that that extra army was at the front of his natural. So we are going to go into the next game on Zealots. Elnagra Fortress, going to be game six. Yeah. Puzzle's coming back. Yeah, he could actually win this whole thing right here mm -hmm. on Zelnaga Fortress in just a minute. <laughs> Calm down. It's not going to start yet, Unstable. We're getting too excited.
All right, we're going to jump into it right now. Oh, never mind, because uh, there's Actually an issue in the game. Puzzle, like, pauses immediately. He's like, I'm just going to make Wolf wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so Puzzle might have some sort of sound difficulty or something. We'll find out pretty soon. But anyway, mm. Zelnaga Fortress is a pretty standard normal map, not very big. Yep. There's a lot of areas to blink, though. A very wide open main. There's a lot of different areas uh, where there's a, a wide ledge where there's several different areas you can blink into. So That Zelnaga Tower in the middle is crucial in this matchup as well because you can see pretty much everything coming. Yeah. So... We'll see what uh, what's going on with Puzzle here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, that guy just like ran over there. <laughs> Guarantee he'll sort it out. <laughs> yeah, well, there are texts on site to see what's going on, so it's interesting. Like we're six games in, usually something doesn't go wrong this far in. You usually have it in like the first game. Yeah, but that's all right. I'm gonna take this time, drink some of my Pepsi <laughs> next. It's very good. You guys should try some. Go get it from your local convenience store. Seriously, um, you know, sometimes esports is about the sponsors and it's about, you know, making sure you plug the sponsors, the sponsors get the attention. But for me, it's just about the Pepsi, actually. I just, <laughs> I just want to drink some Pepsi. So, yeah, it is an issue with his sound. That seems to be the case sometimes here. People just have sound issues. It might be his own equipment, actually. Well, um, the, way it, the way they've got it set up is they've got an extension going into the actual machine and then you've got the, your headphones. So there's just an extra area that can go wrong but yeah. it's right. I'm sure it'll be sorted out soon but like I was about to say no you just want free Pepsi that's all you care <laughs> yeah well I like Pepsi I like esports but uh, Pepsi likes esports <laughs> so I like Pepsi more um, and Pepsi next also very similar to the name Zenex ah. uh, puzzles on that team so very appropriate but we are going to jump right back into this game so look forward to that in just a second <laughs> <laughs> game has been resumed Gonna get into it in a second. Are you excited, Unstable? Of course. <laughs>